Hey everybody, it's James. This is the Comedypreneur Show. It's me, Solamente. Uh, this is the show. <laughs> um, but I wanted to reach out to you guys today and talk about something that, that kind of is an argument. Um, but I want to take a side to this. I want to take a, a side and uh, tell you that reasons why introverts are great comedians. Now, everyone knows that as a comedian, you have to kind of be outgoing and fun on stage and grab the audience's attention, but introverts are make great comedians. They're very thoughtful people. I, I kind of want to go over why the, I think that, why introverts are great. And I think all comedians are a little bit uh, introverted extroverts, which means most of the time we internalize things. Most of the time we overthink things. We overcomplicate things. That's why we can write great jokes. That's why we can... Um, come up with these ideas. Like, you ever had someone go, "Man, how how do you think of that? That's great. I've never thought of that." Or, "Oh, I think about that all the time, but I I could never put it that way." You know, that's the introvert part of you, right? That's what we do. And then we get on stage where the extrovert comes out and we tell jokes, right? And there are timid comedians who are kind of in their shells. You know, Mitch Hedberg who would close his eyes and tell his jokes. There there are some people who are a little more introverted um, on stage, but a lot of times you're more extrovert on stage and introvert in life, and so. This is why I think here are some reasons why um, introverts make great comedians. One, introverts don't like people, right? We, we don't like to socialize and talk to people in general, uh, but we notice things and we catalog it, right? That's that internalizing. And don't take it literal. Like, we do like you, but we're just always, like, processing things. Like, we would rather, as an extroverted introvert, I'd rather, like, look at things around me and kind of take it in and then f output it and find the funny in it. And I do that all the time. I do that to my wife. Um, next one is going to be that we listen to everything, right? We're always listening. Um, introverts are the people that are kind of stand back from the group and just watch how things go. And they're taking it in and they're finding stuff that's funny. When I, uh, write scripts and screenplays and whatever and stuff for people, um, I will go out in the world and kind of listen around how people talk. And then I'll, you know, I'll add that to characters. I've made funny lines because I'm just, you know, sitting, sitting at Starbucks with my wife. I'm listening to people's conversations or I'm like in Target, like shopping, and I can hear people talking. It just comes comes out funny, you know. Um, the next one is um, people think that being an introvert is funny. Like a lot of times people think like that we're shy and whatever. And they're like, hey, what's wrong with you, little guy? Why are you so being so quiet? What's right? And, I, and just like, ugh, it annoys us, right? But we like, we're not trying to be focused. We're just trying to like listen. And, and we, you know, we kind of just wait and get back. And then we'll, at, you, you've seen this, the quiet person. Everyone's like, oh, he's so quiet. He never talks. <laughs> you know, they're all making fun of you or whatever. And they just pop out with that, with that little jab, boom. And they're like, everyone laughs. And they're like, oh my gosh, she's so funny. And, Boom! There you go. Like that's all you need. Uh, you're kind of you're kind of being the person on the fringe, waiting for your moment. Um, I hate to use a, a, a sports analogy here, but I, I, that's what I was thinking of. It's like if you ever watch boxers, there's always the one guy who's just always punch, punch, punch. Right? He's trying to feel you out, trying to feel you out, trying to see what's going on, and then the other boxer just boom lays him out, right? And you're like, what, what just happened? That guy only threw one punch. That's all it takes, man. That's all it takes. So just think about that. Um, introverts are a little, a little bit head cases, right? Not that we're crazy, um, but we're like in our head. We seem to be we're processing everything. Even when we talk, we're trying to think about how to say things carefully and thoughtfully in a way that, um, kind of doesn't like, we're just very thoughtful. See, like I took a minute to think like, how do I want to say this? We're trying to be very intentional in our way of speaking. Um, now a lot of times introverts when they're growing up, might be extrovert and just say blah, whatever comes out, right? Just kind of spews out of them. Uh, when I was a kid, I would do that too. But once I figured out, probably about fourth or fifth grade, um, that if I found, if I thought of something funny in my mind and I waited for my moments to say it, I would get everyone to laugh, right? It got me in trouble in school, which is whatever. But I waited. I would be quiet. And it's funny because I had a friend say, man, you didn't say anything today. You didn't say anything funny today. Like, I didn't, I didn't find the thing. I didn't, there wasn't the time. I didn't find the, the moment when I needed to burl out. Now, on stand-up, that's not the thing. Your, your whole time on stage needs to be you saying funny things, right? Um, and then the next one is going to be uh, comedy is an outlet. So a lot of times we don't participate. We kind of sit around. We kind of listen. Finally, when we get on stage, that's the time we're going to say all the things in our head that we've been working on. And we're taking that risk to put it out in the world. And we're trying to make people laugh, right? That's what we're doing. Comedy is our outlet. It's finally that moment. <laughs> you watch those, uh, if you ever watch like the romantic comedies that people blow up in a fight and they say all the things, I've been wanting to say this to you for years. And they blah, 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 like say all the stuff. 
That's what this is. This is your moment to blah, it all out like a machine gun. And I'm not saying just say your jokes real fast and step on all the laughs, but like that's your moment. Like as an introvert, that's your moment to just whoo, get it out there. Throw just throw them fastballs. Here you go. Here you go, and make people laugh. That's that's what we do. So just think about those things uh, when you do, when people are like, oh, you're so quiet. Oh, you're are you an introvert? Oh, are you so? What are you thinking about? You know, dude, the funniest people are usually the people who like. Out of nowhere, you're all everyone's joking around, blah, blah blah, and that one person that's quiet and out of nowhere says the one thing, and everyone's laughing for the rest of the night, right? And that one thing, that's all it takes, right? So if you're an introvert, don't feel like comedy is not for you. It probably is exactly for you. It's probably the thing that you need. Uh, don't pay for therapy. Go get on stage. It's gonna cost you a drink, not a hundred bucks a uh, session or whatever. Um, but find those ways to be funny. Find those ways to get out of your shell and be you. All right. Hope this helps. I'll link the the, uh, this, the article in here. Um, have a great week. Please like and subscribe, and see you soon. Bye.